hello twin flames thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so i'm super excited to use the cards today that i'm going to be using for all the july horoscopes and i'm nearly done with them i'm so excited i've just recorded capricorn and i'm recording aquarius and pisces later so all the july horoscopes that's four videos for each sign covering the general reading for July, the singles reading, the twin flame reading and the powerful divine masculine messages are all going to be up today, hopefully for members early. So all members watching, you'll have access now to all of those readings from the end of today. And if you do want to become a member to see those videos, the information is in the description box below. And all the videos will be up for everybody else at the end of the month. But really exciting month coming in for July. Excited for you to watch those videos. So I'm going to use the same cards that I've been using for those readings. So we're going to use the Work Your Light Oracle the Archangel Power Tarot, the Starseed Oracle, the Romance Angels, the Power of Love, and I'm going to use my Masculine Messages and the Bag of Twin Flame Love Oracle. So I'm excited. I'm also excited because I'm going to be doing a merchandise video very soon, as soon as I get one more item, because the leggings have come, the sexy leggings, and I know a few of you are excited to see these, so I'm wearing them today. So they've got the Guided by Angels logo on the front there, okay? On the back, they've got GBA. And then down one side of the, the leg, if you can see, they've got Guided by Angels, okay? So they've got the logo on the back and the front, and they've got it down the leg. And they're so comfortable. They're like a spandex material, so they're really comfortable, you know, so they'll look good with boots as well, because I wear a lot of leggings with boots, but I love them. And if you want to get a pair that have got them in um, a beautiful, I think it's like an, like an ivory colour. I can't remember what colour it is. I think it's like a white or an ivory or a yellow and this colour. But I think you can choose what you want, okay? So do go and check them out. Yeah, I think you can get them in all different colours. So check them out. I love them. Okay, let's get right into this reading then. So first of all, let's do a message from the masculines. And there's also a lot of air clearing coming in, okay? So they're flying across the room. Let me just grab this card here. Wow, look at this card here that's just flew across the room, trust me. And what I'm really feeling is there's a lot of peaceful energy coming in next week because there's been a lot of crazy energy going around this week with the storms and the purging and everything that's going on. And the masculines are so aware now of what's going on. And they're saying to you, trust me, I'm on my way. And honestly, the readings for July are so powerful. It's showing you the change coming in. And I feel a lot of excitement energy around today because things are changing. Change is in the air. And I can feel it coming in today. So the masculine saying, trust me, look at this, I will get there. They're giving me fear. Thank you. They're still releasing the fear. But they're saying to you, trust me, I will get there. I will do what I need to do. Only you will ever do. So amazing this. It's like a sentence. Trust me, I will get there because only you will ever do. The angel is saying, calm down. The masculines need to calm down today because everything's come whooshing in in one go and it's overwhelmed the head and they're trying to work it out. And they're saying, okay, I know now what I need to do. I know I need to, to do it. I know I need to step up and contact my twin. I know I need to do this. So your masculine is thinking, I need to contact her. I need to contact him. I need to sort things out. I need to work out my finances. So your masculine is feeling very energized today, but there's a lot going on. So there's a lot of noise in their head. It's like they've got so many things to do and they need to write everything down. So there's constant panic around the masculine today. And when I tune in with the angels, they give me their energy. This is why I talk fast sometimes, slow other times, because I'm channeling it all. And today it's like a power energy coming in, like an anxiety. I have to release the past. So they're saying, I have to do this. 
I have to release it. I have to let it go. Again, anxious. And I promise you communication. So powerful. So your masculine's anxious today about contacting you, about needing to contact you, wanting to contact you, but saying, I'll get there. I'll do it. But I have to do it. I have to release the past. So it's this fast energy. So I want to say to the masculines today, slow down. You know, it's okay. You don't have to rush. We trust you. So you're saying, I trust you. I trust you, masculine. You know, I trust you, my beloved. I trust you today. So it's like the masculines need to take a deep breath today and slow down. So if you're picking up on that energy, divine feminine, that's why. If you feel like fast today, everything's going crazy in your mind, that's why. And you could be having some nausea to do with this. Again, I don't feel it's like a headache today. It's more nausea feeling, a bit sick. It's because they feel sick today because they need to do it. They need to get it done. It's like when you're on a deadline. And you feel afraid that you're not going to hit that deadline or you're panicking or it's exciting but scary at the same time. That's how your masculine is feeling today. And you'll be tapping in and tuning into that. So let's do the cards then. But this is really standing out, trust me here. So what do we need to know for the feminines today, please, angels? What do we need to know for the feminines today? Thank you, thank you. And what do we need to know for the masculines and for this amazing journey, what do we need to know? Okay. What do we need to know for the feminines, please, angels? Wow. Okay. I'm taking out anything that's jumping out. What do we need to know for the masculines today? And for this amazing journey, what do we need to know? Thank you. What do we need to know for the feminines today? For the masculines today? And for this amazing journey, what do we need to know? I'm taking out what's jumping. What do we need to know for the feminines, please, angels? For the divine masculines, oh, okay. What do we need to know for the journey? Wow, they're just flying out of the deck here. Wow, look at that, express your love coming out for the journey. And that's what the masculines want to do right now. Wow, they're just jumping out today, I'm loving it. Okay, is that just one card? Yeah, I thought two would come out then, but just one. What do we need to know for the masculines and for the journey? Because every day I'm shuffling in. Okay, yeah, I thought more than one card fell out then, but it didn't. So let me just move these out of the way then. So a lot of power coming in today. Oh, this energy is making me feel dizzy when I'm tuning in with their energy. It's like a dizzy feeling. Wow, I've just seen the worth waiting for card in there as well. Wow. Right, then let's start with the journey today because we know that your mask is saying, trust me. So what do we need to know about the journey? We've got the great gathering. Wow. So the masculines are gathering with other masculines right now on the collective. The feminines are gathering with other feminines. So there's a gathering going on. There's change going on, change in the world. And remember this year of 2020, there's crazy energy going on, but it's bringing in enlightenment and awakening because between now and 2024, it's a year, it's an ongoing year of you know, it's like it's the angels saying it's like 2020 to 2024 is one big year. Okay, it's like going into one, it's following on. And it's a year of awakening, enlightenment, and about twin flames coming together. And this is the great gathering. It says it's all coming together. Intuitive hit soul tribe. So you're understanding right now, it's all coming together. It's moving into place. And we've got the mirror there because you're mirrors of each other. You know, divine feminine, divine masculine and mirrors of each other. You're divine magnets and you're guided back together. But you're also mirrors. You wake each other up. Who or what is triggering you? What a powerful question because that's the energy this week. Who or what is triggering you? So if anything has triggered you this week and there's been a lot of trigger energy, ask yourself, okay, why? Why is this triggering me right now? What am I learning from this? Because what triggers heals. And right now the masculines are being triggered because they're being triggered to action. You know, they're, being, they're realizing things about themselves that they need to change and do. They're being triggered by things going on in the world. So this is about you understanding that divine feminine and understanding that what you're being triggered by is also healing you. And there's things in the world right now. This is why we've got the storms going on. Because the storms are showing you the change. 
the lightning, the power, all the enlightenment that's going on. So if anything in the world is triggering you, in your personal world as well, like if you're falling out with family or someone's getting up your nose, then ask yourself, okay, what am I learning from this? What am I healing right now within me? Because your masculine is your greatest mirror, but so is everything you're observing around you. And when you go within and you breathe and you come back into the now, you realize that you are safe. So if anything's triggering you, and that may be on a video, you know, someone got really triggered yesterday by my Catalyst video. But if you're getting triggered by that, it's because you're healing something connected with that. So anything that's triggering you is healing you. And we've got the high priestess. And you know this because you're in your power. I feel like I'm on speed, okay? That's what the angels are telling me. Not that I've ever had speed, and that's the truth. But the angels are saying the masculine's energy, it's powerful. It's like they're moving forward quickly right now. They're tapping in. They're tuning into their high priestess energy. And you're tapping in feminines because you're in that energy. So you're realizing the truth about all things, all this intuition, that your journey is divinely protected. It's in this bubble of light right now. It's where it's meant to be. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. And this is what you're doing right now. You're each other's mirrors. So you're reflecting, you're understanding, you're growing make bold and ambitious choices and that's what the masculines are doing they're moving forward and this is also signifying same-sex twins here as well in this bubble that the masculines are coming forward to the divine feminine great progress is possible and it's possible now important relationships with people who share your vision so you've also got powerful relationships with people in your life you know, other masculines, other feminines, people in your life right now get you. But this is the joint vision of your future, that we are all star brothers and star sisters, that we're all one. We're all soul family here. And this is about protection, loyalty. It's about safety and trust. It's about your masculine saying, trust me, I have to release. I have to release the past because only you will ever do. And I promise you communication and I will get there. So your mask and saying, trust me here. And looking at the big picture, I've got angel bumps. Look at this, trust, trust, trust. This is the one that flew across the room. Trust me. And your mask and saying, trust me, I will get there. This is about seeing the bigger picture, that everything has a reason. There's a reason behind all things. The doorway is opening. This is about vision again here. Inspired ideas, action, Pallades energy. And the angel saying Pallades energy is connected with action, moving towards this portal and moving through it, trusting the process. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So have faith today, divine feminine, not only in the journey, but in your masculine, because your masculine is asking that of you today. Make the journey playful. And this came up in the Q&A. And I mentioned it yesterday on the Twin Flame reading. Keep it light-hearted. Don't make it so serious. Enjoy it because it's the seriousness that brings in fear. <clears throat> and it brings in a block in communication. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So feel good. Feel youthful. And you feel youthful, divine feminine. And you make your masculine youthful. It's only when you're dragged into negativity or fear or drama or pain, you feel older because it affects your vibration. And the masculines are choosing to engage with the divine feminine, choosing to express their love to you. So it's showing you here, you're moving to a higher level of commitment within this connection. You're going to be engaging with each other. You're going to be expressing love to each other. It's super powerful. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And the angels are saying here that your masculine is saying to you, I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So if you're watching this thinking, well, I really want to reach out to my twin. We've got the patience card coming up. And this is the exact message I was feeling as we started the video. Have patience, trust. 
understand it's coming if you want to reach out to your twin do what feels right to you but do it from a place of love with no expectations so you don't get triggered if you don't get a response because remember there's still trigger energy around right now and there's going to be trigger energy around until sunday when we go into the new week ahead we're going to, and as we go into july we're going to feel peace coming in patience you were able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm so this is about trusting that your masculine will get there okay so this is also a sign divine feminine to have patience with your twin at this time and to let them come to you to express that love to you because they're asking you to trust me i will get there I promise you communication. So that's another sign you don't need to reach out to them because they are fully intending to reach out to you. So for the masculines then, we've got no. Wow, look at this again. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. So I feel this is your divine masculine showing you in the energy of the storm there to wait, to have patience with them, to trust them while they sort things out, okay? So they are sorting things out right now. And they're saying to you, no, wait, okay? So if you're watching this thinking, right, I'm going to reach out to my twin today and you're asking for a sign, this is it. Have patience, pause, wait. The storm right now is causing triggers. And they're showing me the storm there like two thighs. So it's like strength energy coming in, power there for your twin. Your masculine is getting ready to take a leap of faith towards you. It's all flowing in now. This is the fast-paced quickness of the feeling, like the energy I'm feeling. Their vibration has shifted over the last few days. And they're feeling this energy. This is why they're saying things to you like, I want a family with you. I want to tell you how I feel. You are my light. Because they're tapping into your energy because you're lifting and raising your vibration. And this leap of faith is coming. You know, they want to do this. To, they're believing in themselves more. They're listening to their heart. They're doing what gives them joy and they're moving towards this and they're very loyal to you. That's why they're showing you the dog there. So they're going through a transformation to make their dreams come true. This is powerful. Make a wish. And the masculine say to you often, Divine Feminine, I made a wish and you appeared. Well, they made a wish for you. Dreams becoming reality, a joyful time of life. So they're wanting to make their dreams come true and that includes you. Look at this, you've got the love. And it's so powerful because I've posted, I think it was the beginning of the week, you Got the Love by Candy Stanton. And that's one of my favourite songs. And I've been listening to it all week. And I know some of you have been playing it while you've been doing the dishes and dancing around the house. Uh, you, you know, you've got the love I need to see me through. Okay. And this is what I'm feeling today, that song. So go and check it out. And that's really you talking to the creator. You know, you've got the love I need to see me through. You know, sometimes I throw my hands up in the air. You know, because you need to surrender the journey. And this is your masculine saying to you, they need your love. You've got the love. They need divine feminine. This is about them setting the boundaries, releasing codependency, addictions, karmic situations, moving towards you because you've got the love that they need. And the love that they need is unconditional love, not not love with conditions this is why it's not a good time to reach out right now because the storm energy that's come in it's creating all this trigger energy and fear and all this stuff that's going on and we need to have compassion to see both sides of a story to understand that your masculine is growing because you may think that your masculine is being two-faced right now see how there's different faces there but they're not they're just working things out and it's worth waiting for so your masculine is saying to you today divine feminine i'm worth waiting for this journey is worth waiting for i need to love myself right now i'm learning how to do that so this is a sign that your masculine is working on self-love believing in themselves it's an issue about divine timing and if you see it as an issue ask why you see it as an issue why is it triggering me that i have to wait what am i learning from this you're learning patience you're learning strength compassion understanding you're learning about surrender and unconditional love divine timing is at work in your love life so trust in this right now 
love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so you're tapping in tuning in to the romantic feelings your masculine has romantic feelings for you divine feminine feelings they want to express to you right now they want to feel you kiss you touch you they know their feelings are real and worth exploring and they are married to you on the spiritual plane it's a spiritual marriage you don't need a piece of paper but for some of the masculines they are also in marriages that they need to release they're tangled up in situations that they need to release and that's why they are saying to you i have to release the past i have to release this person i have to release this situation so that we can marry in the 3d because the angel is saying for some of you you will have marriages real 3d marriages for others, it will be a spiritual marriage. Like me and George don't need to get married. We're already spiritually married. And it's all cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So this is another sign of the world energy enlightenment. They show me the pride colors here in this card as well. So it's about same sex twins coming together. It's about unity, union. It's about trusting, having faith. It's about all of this coming together, cause and effect. Everything has a reason. There's a reason behind everything. There's no mistakes. There's only lessons that lead to blessings because all paths lead home. All paths lead to union. So this is what your masculine is saying to you today. Bear with me. Trust me. I'll come forward to you. I promise you I will. It's worth waiting for. Give me time. And for the feminine, you're on your path right now because you're tapping into your purpose. You're saying to heaven, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say? You're tuning in with the divine. Where are you being called to journey to? So you're being shown your mission right now, Divine Feminine. And part of your mission is what you're doing now. Learning to surrender, to trust, to work on self, to believe in yourself and preparing for union. Preparing to answer the call because the masculines are coming. So this is the answer in the call. So when your masculine contacts you, however that may be, make sure you answer the call. Don't think I'll punish them a bit longer or I don't know what to say. Answer that call. If they ring you up, answer. If they text you, answer. If they email you, answer. Even if it's a humorous email and you may be triggered by it or it may be a sexy email, remember they're just wanting to express their love. And for some of the masculines, they find that very hard to do. So they don't do it in a vulnerable way. They do it in a way that protects their energy with, you know, with sex or, you know, with their humour. So whatever way they contact you, see from a different perspective, they're doing it because they want to do it. They want to express their love to you. So get ready to answer the call. And this is also about your soul calling. What is your soul calling you to do? move towards your dream so this is also showing you the changes you've been guided to make are the right changes the right changes for you to move you exactly where you're meant to be and i know you're longing for your twin flame i know you are you're longing for home you're longing for this journey but you're finding that you are belonging where you are in your energy of being an empath a light worker an earth angel you were divinely guided and divinely loved loved beyond measure you know, the angels say it all the time. If you could see how much the angels and the universe and the creator adore you, you'd never worry again. You know, and that's how I see you. I see you. It might be through a screen, but I feel you when I'm doing these videos. I feel your love, your energy, your passion, you know, your purpose, your beauty within you for who you are, for your divine masculine, for your mission, for your cause to raise humanity, to be a healer to be an inspiration to others, a guide, because we are the original light workers. So you are an original divine feminine. You aren't a fake. You aren't a copy. You are an original. And that's why your masculine says to you, only you will ever do because you're the original. You, the only one, perfect as you are. And you know who you are. You already know what to do. You know, the Queen of Michael cards, it's about power. 
It's about self-resilience. It's about standing strong, knowing who you are, the benefit of the experiences you've been through, a time for you, trusting in you, you know, a time to know that you're on the right path with the star. 17 energy there again, on the right path, dreams coming true, believing in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. Why? Because you're moving forward. So powerful. Ace of Gabriel taking control, moving forward. And what you're moving forward towards is union. So it's showing you moving towards this goal right now, this goal of love and power and prosperity and abundance, a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So see wonder in all of this. It's wonderful today that your masculine is saying this to you because it's it's all come out as this one message. Trust me, I will get there. Only you will ever do. I have to release the past. I promise you communication. So it's like you're having a conversation. Close your eyes and imagine your masculine saying those words to you. Trust me. Only you will ever do. I will get there, okay? Your masculine knows what they need to do. And it's bringing in union. It's bringing it in. It's time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdens. So let go of the burdens to their divine feminine because your masculine is longing for you as much as you're longing for them. Saying to you, it's worth waiting for. Trust me, I will get there. I promise you communication. I want to express my love. I want to show you how I feel. I want to hold you and touch you and feel you within my arms. I love you. So let go of that burden and remember that all the hard work you've done whether it's been over the last day, week, month, year, 10 years, 20 years, it's been worth it because this is what's to come. And we've got the earth school here. Remember, everything you're going through right now is a lesson, a lesson in the earth school, the school of life that we're in. And every time you achieve something, you move towards another lesson. You move up a class. You're learning and growing. You're learning life lessons all for your soul growth, for your higher learning, for your awareness. Look at this very soon. Wow. Wow. Very soon it's coming, Divine Feminine. Very soon. Beautiful cards coming out of these Romance Angels deck. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And you want your twin. You want communication. Well, your masculine is promising you that right now, very soon. Your masculine is promising you union very soon. Your angels are promising you abundance and love and prosperity very soon. So make sure you're putting out positivity and optimism into the universe. And we've got creativity coming out for you. You love to devise new ideas, innovations and forms of illumination. This shows how powerful you are. Look at the differences in the cards. The masculines are expressing they are learning through the storms and the pain. You're being shown that you're already illuminated. You're already in the school of life. You're already aware that you're learning. And through the school of life, you're understanding that you are becoming creative, illuminated, enlightened in your power. And that you truly are guided by angels every day because you tapped into heaven every day. That's why I called the channel Guided by Angels, because we are every day. And the more you tap in every day to the power of the angels, the more you'll be tapping into yourself, your soul energy, your twin flame journey, and the stronger you become. And that's why so many of you say you've got stronger through these videos. It's nothing I'm doing. It's your connection now that you're creating with the heaven, the angels, the ascended masters, your soul council around you, guiding you. And how powerful is that? So your masculine is saying to you, divine feminine, trust me, I will get there because only you will ever do. So trust them to release the past. They know they have to do that and they will communicate with you in the right way at the right time. So give them the time they need. Trust. Do you today. Relax, breathe and know that you've got this and heaven has got you. Have a beautiful day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.